Have you displayed loyalty to your faction today, soldier? All right, we learned how to attack things in the last episode, and now you've taken over the entire continent. You guys have definitely earned those MLG decals. But it can't be all conquest and taking over bases. Sometimes you gotta defend, too. We're gonna go over some basic procedures for defending bases so we can get those damn rebels off your lawn. Defending is obviously very different from attacking, so it requires a different mindset. There's no set timer that tells you when your defense has been successful because just because the cap is fully reversed does not mean that the enemy is just gonna give up and go away. They can just remount a second offensive on your base. What leaders consider to be the ground for a successful defense is a pretty foggy thing too. Some consider victory to be when all the spawn points have been removed. Others say it's when the enemy is scattered and retreated. Some are just happy with the points being secured and they suck because of that. I say all the above. Now let's talk some defensive strategy. Alright, first things first. Under no circumstances are you to try to attack from the spawn room. Sony on Live Entertainment has spent a lot of man hours making the maps in-game to where you can't reach anything important from your spawn with the guns. When you hide in the spawner and the chances are close to none that you're going to be able to get out of there later, you're essentially locking yourself and your squad mates down for the enemy so they don't have to. Do you really want that kind of mockery brought upon your platoon? Do you? No, you don't. Getting out of the spawn is like getting out of bed. If you lag even for a second, it's going to feel impossible to do it. Now get out of bed, soldier, because you're going to school today no matter what disease you say you have. The next step in defending your hard-won territory is to make sure that all the points are secure at all times. Securing does not mean having the point change in your favor. Securing the point does not mean that there are no enemies near the point. Securing the point means you have at least two to three people guarding that point at all times, keeping an eye out for anything and everything while the rest of the platoon does some extermination around the base. I know it's not fun to sit on the point, but somebody's got to do it or else you're going to be in trouble. Big trouble. It's got to get done. So don't let any enemy forces near your point at all and make sure that you've got at least two to three bodies on the point at all time watching for anyone trying to pull anything. Lastly, you got to deny easy access to your territory by the enemy. Keep your eyes peeled for beacons, Sundays, galaxies, nearby territories, anything the enemy is coming from. Take priority to whichever is closest to the point. The farther the enemy has to travel to get on point and move to the front line, wherever that may be in the territory, the more scattered and broken their forces become. Use this to your advantage. So shoot those beacons, blow up those sundies, watch for galaxies, and find out if there's any nearby territories that the enemy is simply running over to you from. Eventually, the enemy's nearest spawn point is going to be so far away from your base that it's going to be useless to attack and they're going to have to regroup and attack you later. Sweet, you've broken the enemy forces and now they're presumably regrouping at maybe the warp gate or somewhere far away where you can't bother them. Now it's the time to be proactive about keeping your territory by taking away some of theirs. Even if you so much as start a cap at the adjacent territory, you prevent them from starting again since the Lattice doesn't like base trading. You have to be fast though. Every second you wait is a head start you're giving to the other guys for their attack on your territory. Don't let them regroup. And I know what you're thinking. What if things get too real and your forces just can't hold the enemy? Falling back is an option, soldier. There's no shame in it if it means you're going to fortify at the next location to stop the flow of the enemy assault. If you're going to pull out, give yourself at least a minute and a half at your next base to fortify. Get done everything that needs to get done. Repair the turrets, make sure people are ready wherever they can hit the enemy from as they approach, and make sure you have a few additional spawn points in case they try to lock down your spawn room. If the enemy still fills you with bullets, plasma, and magnet things, there's no shame in calling for reinforcements. Just don't preemptively fall back like you did last time, because that's proven not to work. The extra time will not prepare you against that big of a force. That needs reinforcements. So swallow your pride, get on leader chat, and beg for help before you get the continent warp gated because you couldn't deal with your own hubris. This was pretty simple, but let's still review. Do not hide in the spawn room. Keep the point secure at all times. Deny your enemy any and all points of attack. The best defense is taking your fight to the enemy. Don't be afraid to fall back, but if it doesn't work, you're going to need some reinforcements. That does it for today. These general tactics will apply well to almost any defensive situation. We're going to go over specific scenarios like choke points, tech plants, and even the dreaded bio lab in the near future. But for now, we're just doing the basic stuff to make sure you're prepared for any situation. 
If you like this video or you just like me in general, make sure that you like the video and leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to me and like me on Facebook so you can get my Planet Side 2 content as soon as it comes out and learn about leadership on Araxis every Saturday. Until next time, leaders of Araxis.